Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Look what we have today, a Pride 150 bilinear amplifier for the 80 and 10 meters. Stay tuned. Okay, we're looking at the Pride Electronics uh, bilinear amplifier, the Pride 150. It is made for the handbands and it can cover from 80 to 10 meters as you can see here. Uh, but when we look at the manual, it can go from 3.5 megahertz all the way to 30 megahertz without you having to do anything. You just plug and play. Make sure your antenna is properly tuned before you turn on the amplifier because uh, you're gonna damage it immediately. There is no, these things do not forgive. If your antenna is bad, you have 10 seconds. If you key up more than 10 seconds, boom, you're gonna uh, burn it completely and you're gonna burn those pills inside. I'm gonna show you uh, when I open it up. So, uh, as you can see here, it says we're not allowed to use it on the uh, 11 meters uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, going back to the uh, amplifier, here's your uh, on and off switch. Uh, you can see I've already connected it into the radio, into a radio and onto the power. I'm gonna turn this off. So here's your on off power, okay? Uh, here you can select uh, AM or sideband. And this will indicate that you're on AM, so don't key up when you're on sideband, okay? And this is your uh, receiver here. Uh, it has a pre-amplifier to make your uh, incoming signals a little bit stronger. Uh, mind you that if you're on a noisy frequency, if you turn this on, you're going to amplify the noise, right? But if you are on a... Uh, when people talk... See if I can... Uh, there you go, something like this. We are on uh, the 11 meters, of course. So we're not going to be keying up, uh, just for a demonstration here. Let's see if I can fix the camera so you can see both roughly. So, you hear that? Someone's talking in the background. I'm going to turn it on. Now, mind you that this is not don't uh, think that because you can receive better that uh, when there is no conditions you can turn that on and then you can hear everybody no that's not gonna happen you have to have conditions this will just enhance a little bit the audio and the incoming signal on a, on a very low station and again if there is noise on the frequency it will enhance the noise as well so let's see Okay, let's see here. It's on right now, I'm gonna turn it off. It does make a little bit of a difference, not a lot. Yeah, it does make a little bit of a difference, uh, but not a lot. But yeah, it's better than nothing, right? If you have a low um, signal coming in, you can try and make it sound a little bit better by using this switch here. Also, this uh, amplifier is a low drive amplifier. So, for example, uh, I'm using a 2970 here, as you can see. This is a very high power uh, radio, high output. It does 150 watts. If I was to key up like this, poof, you will see the magic smoke coming out of it. So you have to go and lower the output power all the way. Uh, let's see, this is down. I will put it here. We'll, we'll get to that. As I said, we're not going to transmit. I'm skeptical. Should I transmit or not? Maybe I won't transmit. So what I mean by low amplifier, a low drive amplifier, this amplifier can only take up to 10 watts maximum on SSB and 4 watts on AM. Don't go past that. If you want to this amplifier to last you for a long time, I would go down to 3 watts on AM and 8 watts on sideband because Think about it, if, if, uh, if you give it 12 watts, maybe it will give you half an S unit or one S unit more. So it's not worth it. It's not worth it to burn the amplifier. Leave it at eight. Uh, and this goes for any uh, amplifier here, okay? 
give it up to 8 if you can adjust your output power give it up to 8 watts if you want the amplifier to last you for a long time don't overdo it if this was a high power uh, high drive amplifier then yeah you can crank it all the way to 30 watts and this thing will boost uh, 200 and 300 and some of them can do uh, 50 and 60 and 80 watts uh, drive so yeah but this is not this is not one of those amplifiers the good thing about this amplifier is that if you're using it let's say for QRP uh, with a low uh, radio like the Yaesu that does or a Giegu those small uh, HF radios if you want to do QRP you can add this amplifier and it will work as I said on any band and it can give you up to 25 watts well, there is a selector in the back I'm going to show you when I open it uh, it can do 25, 75 and 150 now if you want to use an amplifier for QRP that again defeats the purpose but you get the idea these are all the options that you have and you can use if you want okay we are ready to reveal uh, the inside the guts see how it looks inside are you ready uh, I'm telling you it, it's uh, it's in very good shape I would say it's an old new uh, stock uh, just look at it beautiful you can see the uh, MRF 454 this one here and this one two pills 150 watts let's turn it around so you can see the uh, the inside uh, I don't see any blobs or anything uh, it looks original to me I don't think this was uh, ever opened and uh, anybody performed any anything inside you can see the um, the relays here the two relays see if I can bring it closer yeah and uh, yeah it works amazing um, at the back here I didn't show you you have your uh, antenna con uh, connector your uh, transmitter and then there is a switch back here and of course your ground here you can ground it if you want I would advise if you're using it in the mobile or anywhere just give it a ground so we have three options here 25 70 and 150 just like that and this rate, this uh, amplifier, as you can see here, can work from 80 to 10 meters without any uh, modifications or anything. It will just plug it in, plug in and play. Uh, as long as you are uh, tuned properly with uh, your antenna on the band that you want to uh, transmit, uh, go ahead and transmit. It will work beautifully. Okay, this was the Pride 150 bilinear uh, amplifier for the ham uh, bands from 80 to 10 meters thank you so much for watching if you find one uh, i suggest you buy it uh, if you want to use it in another band it's your uh, with your discretion i'm not telling you or suggesting anything i'm not an influencer i don't want to be an influencer <laughs> so if you if you find one buy it those uh, older ones are so much easier to fix uh, some of them at this age you might not be able to find parts though I have to be honest with you uh, but this this made uh, like a tank and it will last forever thank you guys thank you so much for watching thank you for all your support uh, 73 and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye